Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to update mod packs. Now you might be wondering, what do you mean by updating a mod pack? Do you mean changing the version or updating the mods within a mod pack on Curse Forge? Basically, I mean both. I'm going to be showing you both methods, and many people want to know how to either update a pack through the versions or just update the mods within the pack because they know that the mods are outdated. So let's say the new beginnings 2. It is a pack that is very old and in general, it needs some updates with its mods. We go to these three dots right here and then we go over to profile options. Now, before I click on the profile options, as you see up here, it actually says change version. So in order to update mod packs via the change version, that's how you do it right here. But for the individual mods and in general, like adding in new mods, removing some mods and using the Curse Forge, um, I guess, launcher, you need to go to the profile options and allow content management for this profile. As you can see, a whole lot of stuff is outdated. So we're going to update them right now. You just hit the action right here to just update the mod. Now, do be careful because when updating a mod pack like HR New Beginnings, you might run into conflicts. Hopefully, I don't run into any conflicts here. I'm just going to update all the mods and I'll get to you guys in just a second to launch it up. Okay, I've updated all the mods in HR New Beginning and let's hit play. Hit continue. And what should happen is that you should see the Minecraft launcher appear right here. And then what we're going to do after that is obviously hit the play button. And once it's continuing, as you can see, the loading process is happening. And it's launched up pretty much fine. As you can see, it's actually gotten to loading bar, so it looks like things might be okay. Ah, I see. So it says this right here. Requires forge of a different version. That's right because not only do you need to update the mods, but you also need to update the forge. So let's go over here and right here is where you update the forge. Now you could go with the latest version, although do be very careful because just because you click on the latest version doesn't mean that all the mods might work on it. Let's click on the latest version and let's see if it works. The reason why it might not work for the latest version is because a lot of the mods are accustomed to an older version of Forge and therefore it might only work with that version of Forge. However, usually updating the Forge would help regardless and it's only in rare circumstances that updating the Forge would cause this issue. So let's get right into this. Okay, so now the Minecraft is loading up right here. And let's see if updating the forge fixed our issue. And as you can see, updating the forge did indeed fix our issue. So let me just full screen this. Hit single player. Let's go to creative world. And let's see if it loads up fine once again, just to make sure that everything's working accordingly. And that should be it. So make sure to update the forge and the mods if you take the route that I took, which is updating the pack via, you know, downloading the latest version of the mods. And do also bear in mind that updating the latest version of the mods might have future conflicts. So be careful when updating a lot of the mods. In any case, I actually did manage to join in the world as you can see here. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial on how to update uh, mod packs and mods within mod packs. Take care and good. Bye.